this broadcast is troublesome for me because of two reasons. The first reason being that I am not Native American nor English speaking. The second reason is that I get emotional when someone insults a friend of me. The guy that you have in the picture right now is going to insult a friend of me. And that makes me emotional. And in my first takes, when I really get emotional, I switch over to Dutch. And for the third time and the fourth time, I'm still hanging on in English. <laughs> so it's getting better and better and better with me. The reason why I do this broadcast in English is because I challenge Mr. Johnny Chirochi, that is his full name. He calls himself a patriot and he knows stuff about the Bible. On the other hand, anyone can buy a Bible. The point is, do you live by the Bible? Let's have uh, a couple of minutes. Uh, I, in total, I have selected nine minutes of insults, of strange talk. Let's hear him out. Thing to him. No, no. <laughs> call the Jesuit. Call Jesuit uh, Leonard Neal to his to his deathbed to give him last rites. To give him to give him Roman Catholic last rites. But he was a he was a patriot, George Washington. So here's the catch. Here's the catch. Good for you. Here's the catch. When I first got my Roman Rip, I did not know how, how deep this problem was. I did not know that America was founded by the boy raping Luciferians. That is not quite true. First of all, who are Luciferians. The word Lucifer only occurs once in the King James Bible. And the boy groping or boy raping Luciferians, that is not the issue. That is the result of a cause. The cause is that we are not Christian. Therefore, the Antichrist has full range. Like <laughs> biologically raised chickens. Full range chickens. We give them space. For example, by insulting other people without any substance, without quoting, just calling names. Let's listen a bit more to this patriot with his silly hat. To be mm -hmm. the sword arm of the Whore of Babylon. I see. I did not know that. Johnny Carson, I did yeah. <laughs> Did you see him? Johnny Shirochi, the reason why I stopped listening to him was that he makes an audio video and then he starts to post process. Why would you take all that care? Why don't you just say what you want to say? And then do the upload. 
That is what I do. With about up and around 40% of my material. Sometimes I get emotional and I do not feel the urge to confront other people with my emotions. Why would I make a film of my head and then stuff it in with this JPEG? I got to go full Huckleberry. Say when? Say what? Yeah, like no way, because these guys like. Uh, uh, and this call in person, he, ch he, he just only babbles along. He just about says nothing. Yoggler uh, and. Yoggler. Um, That's the first insult. My friend is not called Juggler. That is his avatar or uh, his tag name, nickname, his channel name. So this call-in guy should say the person, namely the Leuvense vriend of Periwinkle his channel sucks and then he should say why this channel sucks put your money where your mouth is honey Tupper saucy there need to be harsh on them Tupper saucy together with Jörg Griezmann that's that is his full name Jörg Griezmann ein deutscher name Reden Sie mal ein bisschen Deutsch, bitte. And not York. You have no York. And the person in, in, in the matter is called Jörg Kliesmann. Ah. Learn your uh, nouns, your, nee, your vowels, your vowels. Yeah. Learn your vowels. Well, and yes, and yes, and, and, and yeah, I love you so much, dude. <laughs> that he confirms that he loves his caller so much. What do I care? I tried to listen to Johnny Shirochi for news, for information, and the fact that Johnny Shirochi very much is in love or loves his caller that seems like filling in the pauses with useless words that is one of the things that turned me off from being receptive to that fact mm -hmm. is guys like Jorg the guy is not named Jorg please learn some German and second of all, he has a last name. Why is my friend named Jörg or Jockler? My name is Perry Winkle. And if that is not secure enough, you may call me Perry Franciscus Martinez Winkle. Name me by my name. Don't do wobbly wobbly smoke and mirrors. Who has to guess who York is? Like in a Y O R K? Like in New York? And and Freddie Tupper Saucy F Tupper Saucy. No. That is the next insult. The author of the book, Rulers of Evil, named himself on the cover of the book. There stood F. Tapper Saucy. 
The F stands for Frederick, not for Freddy. This is to insult a person who is in the grave. Christ Jesus has said, do not honor those who have passed away. That does not mean that you can insult those that have passed away. Johnny Shirucci, my friend, you are in my eyes going a very small way. Not meaning the good small way. Aussie, um, went a little overboard. And in the process of, of giving the truth, we're a little harsh against America in general. And, for, and, and, and failed to differentiate between good Americans and, 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 and secret Roman rule I'll let him finish for of America. Yeah, okay. He is complaining about the fact that both Frederick Tapasosi and Jörg Glisman are insulting Americans as a whole. All Americans suck, according to Shoni Shirucci. That is a right out lie. And he has to come to the, to the bench, to the stand. I will not let my friends be insulted. I will not let my friends be accused of things that they did not do or did not say. You, you aggravate me, Mr. Shoni Shirochi. And they are responsible for, for my inability to at first receive this information. Because I'm a patriot. I'm fourth generation Italian. My family came here. My family was forced here as part of the never-ending push to have Roman Catholics invade America. Okay, so now we know his family is Roman Catholic. So his family is to a certain extent responsible for the 500 millions of deaths. Okay, let's continue on, Meneer Shirochi. Mm -hmm. yeah. The problem was, and we've talked about this before, the problem was back in the 20s and 30s, good Irish Catholics and Italian Catholics assimilated. They were forced to assimilate, became proud Americans. Oh, that is evil. The Irish Catholics were forced to assimilate as well as the Italian Catholics. What do I care? The Protestants fled to America in scare of the Roman Catholics. So he acclaims that he is one of the Catholics that chased the Protestants to bugger them or not Misty, Mr. Johnny Shirutsi can you explain me you know yeah I'm, I'm part of the uh, <laughs> South American wave uh, unfortunately they're You're part of the South American wave not forced to the South American wave South America has been destroyed by the Catholics in the 16th century with their reductions, reduction areas or as they were later called in Germany Konzentrationslager concentration camps let's have a laugh a simulator <laughs> because, because the boy buggering Luciferians 
who run a It are not the boy burgering Luciferians. It are the Catholics. They have been an A in the A hole since uh, I don't know when. The beginning of our counting of years. The common era. America, who, who, who run the world, go out of their way to make it unnecessary for South American Roman Catholic illegal aliens to assimilate. Right. Press one for Espanol. <laughs> yeah, I hate that feature. They, unfortunately, yeah. there's no press two for Portuguese. Right. <laughs> which is messed up, man. What is he buggering about? To make a joke out of it, uh, everybody should learn to speak Dutch. Uh, nobody should learn to speak uh, English, especially not in this silly way as this op apparently opponent of me and my friend. An Espanol, ah. No, not so hard to learn. And that's, that's messed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's prejudice against good, good Brazilians. That's unfair, so yeah. <laughs> messed up, dude. Right. So, um, we're patriots. We're similar. We're patriots. And, and as a result, um, you know, anybody that, that badmouths America without making a, a, a smart case for it, you don't have to badmouth America. So, how did Frederick Tupper Saucy, in his book, at what page, from what chapter, how did Frederick Tupper Saucy badmouth America? America. Give me the, the proof. He has got the PDF on his computer. I might, I may assume. And how did Jörg Gliesmann insult America? Americans as a whole? I have this video of Johnny Shirucci for you as proof that what what he says he is buggering diminishing other l ugly words over my friend my Leuven's friend and Frederick Tupper Saucy who I uh, from which I believe of which I believe that he has tried very very hard and not an evil guy America period just tell the truth mm -hmm. just tell I the see. truth I so I, yeah. I, I eventually I, I, I was able to receive this information going through Freddie Tupper Saucy's rulers of evil and he's he, he you know he had a chip on his shoulder he had an America hating chip on his shoulder from what does he conclude that? Have you heard any sentence? Have you heard a quotation? A citation? Not. He is just babbling along with this guy over the phone or some bad YouTube connection, Skype connection. And his friend only says, <laughs> just like he has listened a little bit too much to Beavis and Beavis and Beavis and you know the cartoon, which went went in Butthead. to his tax dodging stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Frederick Tupper Saucy has evaded the taxation system and had a reason for that. And it maybe it turned out quite of good. On the other hand, eventually eventually he was arrested. So maybe on the ah, there is no judging about it. There is something fishy with the IRS without any doubt 
even Karen Judas, Karen Hudes, we say, Karen Hudes, Karen Judas speaks all about it, tells it all. And um, and your yogler was was. was the same. That's the next insult. My friend, my Leuvense friend, is called Jurg, that's his first name, Glisman. That is his last name. And for us, the Dutch speaking people, it is hard to pronounce that German name a bit of correctly. In Dutch, he would have been called Jörg Glisman. <laughs> but that is not correctly German. In any way, he is not called Jörg Juckler. That's like calling me Perry Pislul. That is not my name. It is not the name of Jörg Glisman. He is called Jörg Glisman. Same. Just put me off. Once I was able to receive that truth, and this was bolstered by our, our non-friends in the Adventist, renegade Adventist circle. That is a very peculiar denotation. A denotation is a word that you use to address a group. Like for instance, uh, uh, people with thick glasses living in Arnhem. I belong to that denotation. You can also say people who are not able to handle women being of male origin. I also belong to that denotation. That was just a joke, not to be serious. I hope I made you smile. But this denotation, l let us hear it once more. In Dutch we call it begrip. Begrif of Deutsch. South America, period. Just tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Just tell I the see. truth. I so I, I, I eventually... I, I, I was able to receive this information going through Freddie Tupper Saucy's. I went a little too far backwards. And he's, he, he, you know, he had a chip on his shoulder. He had an America hating chip on his shoulder, which went, went into his tax dodging stuff. We mm -hmm. already had this. And um, just let it move on. And your yogler was, was. There's was the dead. insult. Just put me off. Once I was able to receive that truth, and this was bolstered by our... our Here it comes. Here it comes. Non-friends. Non-friends in the Adventist... Non-friends in the Adventist... Renegade Adventist circles. Renegade Adventist circles. That is not a correct denotation. Let me look up the word renegade, just to be sure. Yes. Someone who went away. A traitor. Non friends Adventist traitor renegade it should be that's hmm? yeah uh, someone who joins the other party 
So you have a war and one of your soldiers walks over to the other side. And then, so the, the denotation is, you have the Adventists, which is to my opinion not the name of, a, of any church. I know of the Seventh Day Adventists, the Zevende Dag Adventisten. Maybe he is talking about a vet group, and then the ones who turned away walked over to the other side, and of those, the ones who are not his friends. That's like a talking pancake. One of the most important teachings that we get from our, our non-friends, non-friend renegade <laughs> Adventists, who want nothing to do with us, is that um, America is foretold in the book of Revelation, in chapter 13, she is the, uh, the beast from the land that forces everyone to worship the beast of the sea. Dit klopt, trouwens. Ik vind het erg merkwaardig dat ik er zo lang... Oh, I'm sorry. This, I'm so, so terribly sorry. This is correct. To my astonishment, when I reread the book of Revelation, it it is in the in the words. And I did not know that when I was younger. When I was younger, I looked at the book Revelation as a mysterious piece of work that I would never apprehend. Those days are gone. Not only through Jörg Gliesmann, but also by his mainly American friends. So much for the critic of Johnny Chirucci about my Leuvense vriend being anti-American. How does Johnny Chirucci, to say it in Amsterdam, <laughs> how can he hold the case that my Leuvense vriend is anti-America. If he was really anti-American as Americans being a whole, like uh, all Americans are doomed, why does my Leuvense vriend has regular calls over Skype and talks for many hours with Americans. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's spot on. It's absolutely true. Right. Absolutely true. The Beast of the Land uh, mm -hmm. implies that it was uh, a new world. Yeah. No, no population. No people, there, right? Yeah. No people. Uh, uh, um, the yeah, that is also true. He is, is uh, usually a metaphor, not always, usually a metaphor of people. people. Yep. The sea is usually a metaphor for people. So, uh, Beast of the Sea is the old world, that's Rome, and the Beast of the Land is, is America. Mm -hmm. Doing, doing, being the sword arm of the Whore of Babylon. So once I have, I was able to receive this, I have repeatedly apologized uh, to, to uh, Jorg in that regard. Uh, did you get anything back? Or? Sorry? He? has repeatedly apologized to my Leuvense vriend. Oh. For what? Now, believe it or not, we've never heard from him. And that's the other thing that I told Bob. That is curious. 
I started reading out loud uh, Rulers of Evil and Jörg Gliesman contacted me within a couple of days and he suggested that we would do the con to continuation of the book, the reading of the book in Dutch, together. I agreed. And before that time I sent him an email or via YouTube, Google, and I got a, resp a response within a couple of days. He invited me to his home. I've been there. I have met his mother. We, uh, we took a walk for a couple of kilometers, because in Belgium we do not count in miles. <laughs> for a couple of miles, with his mother and his dog. I even was allowed to smoke in his living room. He gave up smoking years ago, his mother also. I was allowed to smoke. I got some apple juice, real good fresh apple juice. So what is the problem to get in contact with my Leuvense vriend? Is here's the difference. Here, here's here's where I get aggravated, and I love you guys in the chat. I'm tracking. I'm looking at the chat. Keep talking to each other. That is when I call the bullcrap card. What do I care that people are talking to each other on the chat? What does that have to do with insulting my Leuvense vriend? Just wondering. There for a little while while we get down this, get down this, uh, this um, yeah. rabbit hole. Um, another big difference that has put me off about York. What's a yogler? That is ugly. That is mean. Let me look it up the word, just to be precise. I think I know what a juggler is. Hmm. There's no real translation. But a juggler is one who works in the circus. There's no explanation of this word. Oh, it's a non-existing word. Oh. Ah. I am not to be catch for one hole, as we say here in Holland. Jugglers. Oh, juggling. Oh. Wait a second. Juggling. So to be precise, his channel name, Joggler66, is the one who takes part in the sport of juggling, a combination of jogging, that's uh, running around uh, just for fun, and juggling. So what is wrong with that name? Now let us hear how Mr. Johnny Cherucci knows how to insult him again. Uh, that guy who, 
it's a it's a juggler, right? That's 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 the guy yeah. who's the the sideshow distraction in the circus. That's what a juggler does, right? Puts on the clown suit. Right. Why would you pick that as your as your handle? Oh, uh, Mr. Johnny Cerucci, let me explain. Anyone needs a handle. And his first name contains a diacritic mark, which is not included in the ASCII set. ASCII, maybe. Yeah? American Standard Coding Information Interchange. ASCII, we say here in Dutch. So his first name and last name were no option. I myself have a YouTube ch channel called The Hufters. The meaning like uh, the and Hufters meaning like a combination of um, guys who are not your friend. Ugly people. That's the, the tag name that I chose in those days. So what about it? His first name and last name almost appear uh, in every sub uh, description box uh, description of the video. Everyone, everyone can know how to reach him. The thing is, <coughs> if you want to make contact with other people. Do not start with an insult. Please be respectful. I know a thing of one or two about his past, about what has happened to him. I have no reason to doubt about the pureness of his testimonies. They were honest. Why should he lie to me? I drove 230 kilometers divided by 1.6 and you got the amount of miles. Just to visit. I met this person. And he tries to speak the truth. That is my opinion. Based upon the fact that I have spent many hours with him. Doing broadcasts and we had failures, we had Skype connection problems and we fought along and one day he will visit me here in Arnhem and then we're gonna do a bar tour completely vegan of course because he is vegan <laughs> um, you and I me especially where are we we're right out in the open someone wants to contact Johnny thanks okay. Bridget. Somebody here it comes here it comes now he's going to do the bullcrap show, what I call the bullcrap show. You may um, disagree with me, you may respond to this video, you may respond in German, you may respond in French. He is going to do the bullcrap move about contacting him. Please bear with me. You and I, me especially, where are we? We're right out in the open. Someone wants to contact Johnny. Thanks, Bridget. Somebody wants to contact Johnny, you go to johnnycerucci.com, J O H N N Y C I U C C I. This is totally unnecessary about spelling your name in such a tempo. It's on Johnny Cerucci. Don't bother. And right across the banner at the top, the last one on the right, just 
Above or below? Where is it? Above or below? So, oh, he's got a problem. The thing is, he is just trying to say, my email address is Johnny, just like in Johnny, at Johnny, just like in Johnny, Shiruchi, with a double C, dot com. That's it. That takes about four and a half seconds to explain, but not this bloke. Oh. <laughs> right above, right above the donate button. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Right above the donate button, notch, notch, wink, wink. This could cost him a copyright claim. Because notch, notch, wink, wink is from the famous British series uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus. <laughs> it's a very funny episode. Uh, my daughter watched it with me and she had to giggle. <laughs> but what he is he babbling about? Asking for donations? Subliminal advertisements? Say no more. <laughs> right above the donate button is the about contact Johnny. You click on that button, it goes to the Johnny bio page, and right there in big bold letters on the bottom, Johnny at johnnysarucci.com. Uh, there we are. Johnny at johnnysarucci.com. Okay, there you can contact him, and I will. Oh, I always 100% reply to sincere correspondence. There is the angle. Sincere correspondence. Who determines what is sincere? If I am of the opinion that he sincerely insulted my Leuvense friend, will he take that response sincere? We will, we will watch it, because I will finish this video with also an angle. Angle. I have written until 21, 21 minutes, so it's uh, two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. minutes minutes 100% even people that come across as a little wacky a little yeah a, a little wacky I may be a little wacky well I'm trying very hard mr. Johnny Chirucci out there yeah and that, that, that's what drew me to you in the first place to uh, you, you answer my we my are real people and an indicator of someone being a fraud or a troll or a shill is that they they fail to respond, fail to even interact with their audience. I, I acknowledge every comment that I am aware of on social networking, on you, boob. Why does he use the word you, boob? Just complaining. Google Plus... Facebook, Twitter, I, to the best of my ability, acknowledge every one of those. Okay, we will check this, mini Mr. Johnny Kirook. Chirucci, Kirucci, Chirucci. And for some reason, there are some people out there that when they want to contact you, they have to go through social networking, particularly Facebook. And I hate it, guys. I hate Facebook email. I really do. He hates Facebook. What do I care? I use Facebook. What is wrong with the human interface of Facebook? Be a bit specific. Not just complain about somewhat, uh, like I say, what is not uh, everything. Sometimes I don't even get notifications on it. So, you know, people think, they get pissed off. Um, but I'm pretty good on that. I'm right out in the open. The juggler is not. And that was one of the things. 
sorry. This is the so manyest insult of my Leuvense friend. A the juggler. He also named in York, like in New York. He named him York Joggler. He does not even take the care to name my Leuvense vriend by his right first name, being Jurg. And even if you are native Dutch, do not say Jurk, because that means dress. So it's Jurg. And not the juggler. This, uh, it, this aggravates me. And I know for sure that this dude, this patriot dude, does not have the guts to call me over Skype. And then we will record and have this conversation once again. Things that originally pissed me off about him over and above the fact that he said... Jukler heeft... Jurk Gliesman heeft hem gepist off. Waarmee dan? Oh, sorry. Jukler pissed him off. With what? Show me an email. Give me some audio. If you want to insult a friend of me, of mine, give me the proof. And just battling along and pissing off, my, uh, pissing over. I do not want to mean, I would not want to mean to be rude. But Johnny Carucci started it. it seemed like he had a chip on his shoulder against America. Where this that is based on. I know of a woman who have, she was the mother of my daughter, of all situations. And she told in 2008, after the abortion, that she voluntary, voluntarily agreed to, it was her choice. Bos in own belly is a movement here in Holland. And she told everybody that I knew in the neighborhood that the abortion she had undertaken was because I had raped her. The ability of people to speak and to confirm what is called the Vorstellung, proposition. The Vorstellung. The ability of people to create a proposition is enormous due to our language. That is also a warning. Don't, do not overstep your language. Use your language in a rightful way. And I dare him to contact me or to let me contact him. Mm -hmm. where, where is his website? <laughs> That's another nasty remark. Why should anyone have a website? I have a website. Why should 
everybody have a website. If you want to meet Jörg Gliesmann, visit his channel youtube.com slash joggler66 and just look at the videos and no he does not have a picture of himself on the internet no he does not have a Facebook page yes he has a lot of viewers more than I have on the other hand he does his broadcasts in English me not I babble along in Dutch that is a smaller audience then again he has spent many many years and he has a lot of subscri subscribers he has done more work than me it's called free energy free history lessons that is my Leuvense vriend whatever you may call him and name him a clown uh, a sideshow uh, singy that is just name calling he doesn't have one where how do you get in touch how did Bob 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 who is Bob <laughs> how did you get in touch with this freaking guy Are oh sorry freaking guy why does Shoni Shiruchi needs that kind of choice of words what is his problem why am I capable of calling Mr. Johnny Shiruchi to the court without using profane language while he likely seemly what not basically essentially needs those words has he had a lobotomy how many hours ago was it that Shoni Shiruchi read a book 34,000 are you one of the rare ones that you posted because that's the only thing I could do is post comments on his videos which he summarily ignored maybe you were insulting to him like calling him a like you just did so show me your comments what did you essentially basically what not ask did you have a concrete question because ever when I had a concrete question to my Leuvense vriend I got an answer within the day sometimes he was at work so he was away what are you complaining about but the worst is yet to come meneer Johnny Chirouche mm -hmm. that's, that's the, the very first indication that someone is a troll that so sorry you want to say that my Leuvense vriend works for the government pretending to be one of us there is this joke 
about Belgians being stupid. There is not one joke about Belgians being stupid. There are many jokes. In America they are there are many jokes about Polish people, like Greg Anthony Szymanski, who is Polish by heritage. My Leuven's friend is not from Belgium. Originally he is from another country. Maybe you can look it up if you have the guts and the interest like I have had in this very kind, nice, uh, ah, let me not praise him into heaven because that is not my job. But as someone who did things wrong just like me. He is not from Belgium and you also not because Belgian people are really stupid. And in a little sense are they smart and you still have to become that little bit of smart to become a Belgian. And you get your Belgium diploma, and then you are a Belgium. Really stupid. So that was my insult to you because uh, you insulted uh, my friend. Hmm? You ask for it, baby. I can get my Bible, and I have all the rights to insult you. Now the biggest insult is going to come. In June this year I have made a video, a news broadcast in this ugly language it's called English. Uh, probably you, you could not recognize it from my mouse. But so it is called. And I made an English broadcast for Greg Anthony Szymanski, the Polish bloke, about the flat earth theory. I am looking forward to a conversation with Greg Szymanski and as so far he has not responded. That really makes me disappointed for the Polish people. I always thought that Polish people could hit a dent in a pack, uh, a pack of butter. You, you, have a, you buy in the supermarket a pack of butter. Uh, paper, uh, butter paper around it and then a Polish uh, guy could <coughs> but not Greg Anthony Szymanski. As we in Holland say of in Dutch say he has an excrement containing seven colors. He is afraid of me. And I think you are too. I dare you to get in discussion with me about the flat earth. I will make a description box entry of the, the video that I sent to Greg Szymanski, who is the same coward as you are. I just say it. You pissed off. You pissed me off by insulting my friend. So now you get it coming. Homo, like we say here in Holland. But to uh, really confront you directly with the questions, 
in my question to uh, Greg Anthony Szymanski, I asked him about sunrise and sundown. And then he went, hey, really, uh, he never answered. I tried it again and again and again, but I'm not stupid. I'm going to insult you, uh, just like him. The questions about the flat earth. Let me start for uh, the moment that uh, Immanuel Kant, he was a German philosopher, and he told us that there is a distinction between distinction and not distinct. Meaning and that part of his uh, science uh, is logic, you might say. The logic of Immanuel Kant was used by Arthur Arthur Arthur, uh, Arthur Schopenha Schopenhauer. And there is a distinction between reality and the model. And it is true that the heliocentric model and the, first of all it was true that the model of the earth as a globe was elegant einfach eenvoudig simple by this model you could traverse the seas using a sextant. And the people who remained at the shore could write out the tables for the captains and the stuurman, steering guy. At the shores they could write out the tables and using a sextant the boats could arrive from Europe to America or to whatever. Just keep an eye on the polar star. Pol star, we say. Polaris. It worked very fine. And then we started to explain the seasons that the globe turned our globe, our world, turned around the sun with a tilt. So half a year the northern hemisphere is farther, aw farther away from the sun than the lower hemisphere. That explains summer and winter. That explains why when it is winter on the n northern hemisphere, it is summer at the southern hemisphere. It's an easy model. The other thing is that there is a, th a thing like the law of attraction. And when Isaac Newton came with this law, he was laughed about. Because everybody knows about attraction. The wet der aantrekkingskracht. We say here in Holland. The attraction can be measured. And even stones, rocks, sand, everything attracts one another. And the measure by which it attracts diminishes with the square of the distance. So if you are one meter apart, two objects, maybe even people, if you move to two meters, then it's half. 
it, no, it's a quarter. It's a quarter. And if you move for three meters, it is three one ninth. That is the law of attraction. And by this we can tell the mass of the moon. The moon must be smaller than our globe. And we must be smaller than the sun. It's an easy way of looking at things. There is nothing wrong with that. Now about reality, which is something else like the model. The book I would like you to read, or to take note about, is Der Wille, uh, Die Welt, excuse me, Die Welt als Wille und Vorstellung. The world as reality and model. There is nothing wrong with whatever kind of model, <laughs> but it is something different like reality. It was so, it is so, and eventually it will be so. In the end it, it will be uh, so many years away. Let us not worry about that. So, if people say that the sun revolves around the earth, like so many people, like you also, and you also proclaim that the earth is shaped like a pizza, You have a yota, not a yota. You have nothing for a model. It is the sad truth, my dear. The earth is a globe. It revolves around itself. It revolves around the sun under a tilt. That is the model. There is no more better model than that model. I have until yet not any flat earther seen with some kind of mathematics. And I accuse all the flat earthers to be either misguided or to be misguided on pay. Why does flat earthers have such a point? Because they do. That has to do with reality. The universe revolves around us. We are the most peculiar like a diamond, uh, whatever, like in blue and green <laughs> and reggae colors, we are the center of the universe. And now the sad news.
news, sorry. The sad news is that the Father of Christ Jesus, who is our Father, he sues, he, he throws seeds. And when we take a telescope and we look above in the night, we can see possibilities for other Earths, other worlds. We can fantasize about that. And this is the moment by which you should start to worry. Because it's going to be really scary what I'm going to tell. We cannot exclude the fact that there is another world. Meaning, not a planet, huh? a world, an earth. There is another earth. What we do know is that we cannot reach that Earth. The first star, our star is not a star, it is called a sun. A sun. That's, we have a sun because the sun has an Earth. We are peculiar. And the first star is about 20 million light years. Or 2 million? <laughs> but it is hard to travel with the speed of light, especially in a vacuum. <laughs> you get the joke. We are doomed for this earth. We are doomed to this earth. And more not. But there can be other earths. We cannot exclude that. Smiley, smiley. Because if that is the case, then nobody will cry for our downgoment to the total Weltkrieg. That is the sad news. that nobody will cry for us when we go down. This was a joke, a logical joke. Because nobody is one of the names of uh, the one from which you, from which you, <laughs> it's English, from which you not name the name. Mr. Nobody. And the big model, and that is going to be a real mathematical hard piece of meat to eat, is that the universe revolves around 2K of Earths. Because if there is yet only one other Earth, then the universe will also revolve around that Earth. Y y you see the mathematics? How are you going to let one thing revolve around 13 Earths? All in one... Oh. Oh. 
I know the answer. <laughs> I know that it is the case. It can hardly be otherwise. It would be blasphemic, blasphemic to believe that we can, uh, <whistles> we can just do what we want and God will save us. I think not, my dearly beloved. <laughs> and we have a lot of things to do. Yes, I know. Yeah. So what is the problem? And for Johnny uh, Shirucci, I would love to, uh, to ask you to get in contact with me about uh, the flat earths. That like really interesting because it is. It has no any good to mingle up the model with the reality. It, it ain't no like in uh, over about Auschwitz. They exaggerated things. That is no good. Just say it how it is. Hey, thank you for listening. And. Uh, I'm, I'm taking my last words in Dutch. Uh, uh, and op zijn hamburgers. Een zakje. Tjus. En dag lievers. <laughs>